Uh, hello again. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, this time we're in uh, Yankton, South Dakota, and we're going to head over to Mankato, Minnesota. So I thought we'd uh, do a little trip on Voith's Great America map and uh, see how it is, show you guys what it's like. And uh, this will be a prelude to, uh, I'm going to do a little video on map mods and uh, just show you guys what you can do and you know where to get some map mods and uh, the key thing is the map mod order so the mod order is just so critical because uh, it's where you can get into a whole lot of trouble with them anyway uh, we'll, we'll talk about that along the way and uh, we're in the K100E and uh, Bart's uh, Great Dane Reefer and all in old school skins so Let's uh, spark this sucker up and get on the road. Let's see. Well, we got fairly heavy load, close to 45,000 pounds of empty pallets. We're going to... Uh, the uh, Deep Grove or Rustic site in Mankato and I've never been there so last time I was in the Great America map there was only one city in Minnesota now there's about five so we'll have a good look at it jump in so I see where we're going. I see some of the Nice work that uh, he does, uh, Boyth. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Kind of a gloomy morning here. <laughs> That's uh, kind of what it looks like outside here right now too. We're having one of those gloomy mornings. Yeah, Voith does, uh, he's pretty busy with these maps, like he, uh, it's always, it's kind of interesting, he doesn't just do one little area and move on, he keeps going back over and improving the whole thing, so, you know, wherever it was uh, a while ago, it's, it's improving all the time, the whole thing, so it's kind of neat when you go on another, you know, you don't 
go in an area for a long time than you do. After 100 yards, turn left. When you do get on it again and take a similar route that, to one you had taken previously, you go, oh man, look, changes, something new. It's kind of neat. Turn left. So his his updates aren't just about expanding it, they're about constant improvement, which is pretty cool. I jump in here so I can use my mirrors. Our speed limit here. Bus flying through the air. That was wild. Huh. Didn't see a tornado. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, yeah, with the map mods, like I was saying, the, the map mod load order is so critical. Does mean it like if it's wrong, it just, the game doesn't work, it just boosts you back to the desktop. I get this video out to you guys in time. Um, I was making it last night and I was in Nevada and it was late because I had a busy day yesterday. And I uh, This is time of recording is Saturday. Now it was going to be Friday evening which usually works. Anyway long story short I'm driving along in Nevada and I had one of those incidents at a rail crossing where uh, the barricade came down with no warning really. There was uh, I heard the ding ding, saw the red light and bang the barricade was down. It was just and it was on highway speed. Like you weren't I wasn't putzing around in town and there was just you know it was a sucker punch. And uh, yeah blew that trip up. 70% damage to the truck and wouldn't even start. Couldn't restart it. So I just abandoned it because uh, that's kind of, you know, it's so disappointing when that happens. I really don't understand why that can't be fixed. I mean, and, you know, you get ample warning in real life. Like, it's not a a game of uh, Russian roulette. They don't want you running into trains. They do everything they can to prevent it. You get lots of advance notice. The barricades come down, or uh, the lights start blinking, and uh, you know, well, they, well before the barricade comes down, give you a chance. 
but in this game it's kind of wow. Let's just say it's disappointing. Anyway, so that didn't happen. So I'm recording this one Saturday morning. Hopefully, ready for Sunday morning. We'll see. If, uh, it's not a hugely long trip, so it should be a compact enough. Uh, video that I can get it out in time tomorrow. Because like I say, I'm always I'm uh, recording them in uh, 1440 at 60 frames, so they look good. It uh, takes a little while to process once they get up to uh, YouTube. Or in Minnesota. This was the original town in Minnesota he had, the first one. Uh-oh, way scale. Uh, let's see what happens here. Better slow down in case I have to... No, we're good. this California set up on the trailer because I was going to do a trip in California and uh, it's uh, highly it's very maneuverable with the uh, sliders slid forward like they are but after that kerfuffle with that rail crossing I kind of gave up on that notion gee I should have waited a little longer see that guy coming up the ramp but um, yeah so here we are with the twisty bits trailer out on the prairie <laughs>
Um, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I, uh, I make uh, trailing arms for 58 to 64 Cadillacs as a sort of side business thing and, uh, in retirement. <laughs> keeps me keeps me active. And uh, I sent a set uh, last fall off to Mankato, uh, custom restoration shop in Mankato. They were doing a little caddy for somebody and wanted to set a, my uh, trailing arms. The idea behind the ones I make is they're stronger and the old original ones are kind of eh, iffy in design and they can rot out. They're, they're pressed steel, and uh, they can get rotten. This is nice along here, this scenery. Um, but anyway, what uh, with the ones I make, I make them uh, and ship them with polyurethane bushings, which really smartens up the handling of the old girls. So anyway, yeah, Mankato. Didn't think I'd ever go there, but here I am. <laughs> In Mankato. And so we're going to 3M, I believe. Oh no, Rustic, yeah. Rustic which is a uh, deep grove. looking set up right there. That green stuff. Rustic. What the heck's going on here? Looks like you'd back up that ramp, I guess, and just dump your wood chips in there or something. like this uh, truck and trailer combo. Of course this is the uh, old school skin for the VIT chassis so hopefully I can get to work on this and get a bunch of these things out to you guys next week. Oh. Park around the corner. Alright. Let's got a pretty tight turning trailer here so we should be able to Turn you turn right here and be right back or in there. You turn. That's 270 degrees. <laughs> the very first time in this game that I came to one of these prefab sites like this particular one not in this location but this uh, lumber yard I had to park back here
Well, there we have it. Uh, Yankton, South Dakota to uh, Mankato, Minnesota. Cool. Gotta turn it off. 32 gallons. Oh, well, that's pretty cheap. Cool. Okay, well, uh, what I'll do, uh, once I get this uh, video uploading, I, I think at some point today I'll work on a map mod video to, uh, you know, just to help you guys get over any, uh, issues with uh you know there's certainly any time i know when i first tried map mods i you know this game was crashing all the time nothing worked and i was totally lost until uh i kind of figured it out and uh in large part due to the help of uh the gmc logistics gaming guys and they put out a uh um a map mod order list and test all of the map mods and uh, we'll get into that in the tutorial video that I'll, I'll try and get out next. Anyway, take care, guys. I uh, hope you have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.